Welcome back to our channel, YouTube. My name is Kristen Forgione. I'm the founder, creative director, and principal designer here at The Lifestyle Co. And if you have been on this YouTube journey with us for a while, you might recognize where I'm standing. I am at our design offices. So this is Elko HQ, where all of the magic happens on both our brand side and our design side. And I am going to show you a fresh look at our office three years later, three years after we finished it, in collaboration with Mitzi. We have been designing a lighting collection for the last four years, and it is out into the world. And we are going to show you your first real life look at it right here in our office. Lighting is super important to us at this firm, and it's definitely something that you have come to know and love from us. And when Mitzi called, I answered for obvious reasons. And if you're a designer out there wondering like how this collaboration came to be, or even just one of our viewers, honestly, it just happened like that. They sent an email and I died, and um, I got so excited about the opportunity to design my own lighting collection with such an incredible brand. Mitzi, Hudson Valley Lighting Group, they have been nothing but amazing to work with. We have learned so much together in this process, and I truly think that the lights are showing such an incredible meeting of the minds in such a way that are so translatable in so many different designs. So here in our design studio, this is where, right, again, all the magic happens, where we scheme, where we meet our clients, where we have intimate moments, our clients have vulnerable moments when we're trying to really figure out what's gonna happen with their design. And so setting the tone with the lighting um, needed to feel seamless. And I think in this space, we really did it. This chandelier that's above me is called Harper Rose. And again, if you know me, that name probably is familiar to you. Harper Rose is my oldest daughter. And I'm gonna try to say this without getting choked up. Um, she is, why? <laughs> I'm standing here, truly, and oh, I can't ugly cry on YouTube, <clears throat> but, Harper, baby, I love you. And she is responsible for so much that comes out of me personally and professionally and creatively. You guys should cut, give me a second. <laughs> but um, I'll tell you the story of how my design career really came to be a little later, but the entire lighting collection is named after amazingly wonderful and powerful women in my life, many of which are in this firm. So Harper Rose is my oldest daughter, Sutter Ann is my other daughter, and then we have a whole Geez, I guess there's 19 pieces in this collection. So there's 17 more from my mom to our director of marketing, Kelly, and so many other people that have been part of this journey with us. Each of them has a design and there are a ton of other people behind the scenes that I wish. I mean, Mitzi, I probably just need to do another collection so that I can keep naming all the amazing, wonderful women in my life after lighting fixtures or other way around, lighting fixtures after them. So anyway, so Harper Rose, this is one of the biggest pieces in the 19 piece collaboration. It's 48 inches wide. It is such a showstopper and I think it's absolutely perfect in this design space. I'm not gonna cry anymore. I am gonna show you though, this lamp is another um, piece in the collection. This is called Rachie and she is large and in charge. And I'll tell you um, what we were going for in this is we wanted texture, we wanted like layered creams and whites. I wanted this kind of oversized empire, tapered shade, linen material, feels handmade, kind of a play on Zalish tile, right? Which is, is really a thing right now. I feel like it's just giving so much texture and earthiness without having to have a lot of color. So uh, we placed two of these here. And I should also mention, a ton of what you see here in our design studio is from our brand, of course, and you can get it on our website at thelifestyleco.com, including all of the lighting fixtures. So you can shop every single piece from us um, and have them in your home sooner than you might think. This space looks so different. <laughs> I can't even believe it. And you're probably wondering where the heck everyone is at. <laughs> It's Tuesday and our entire team works from home on Tuesday, except those of us who are here. So um, you guys probably know this by now, but um, it's a lot of magic, right? Like movie magic when it comes to these installs. So yesterday the space looked like it did for the last three years and today it looks like this. So we, oh my gosh, changed out all the lighting, restyled, it, it, not yesterday, but in that time, we lime washed my office, which you're gonna see. So if you're like hanging on for the cliffhanger, it's, my, it's so incredible. But um, this is the bullpen, as we call it. And like I said, this is where our design team normally works. So right here in the middle is our big collaborative table. And so the Sutter Ann, which is, as I mentioned, my little 
my other beautiful, beautiful baby girl. Um, this fixture is named after her. And one of the pieces of inspiration that we drew for this was actually an earring. So think of an ear crawler, and I think you can, you can see it a little bit more literally on the sconce version of this, but I'm thrilled with how the chandelier came out. It projects so much light. It's multi-directional, which I love. It's a great size. So this would be perfect in a breakfast nook, in an entryway. Um, it just, it just gives so much depth and, and is a great aged, almost unlacquered looking brass, which we love. So this is kind of anchoring the middle of the space. We've got tons of natural light in here. Um, it's edgy, which we also love and, and are very much um, an edgy firm. And then over here, over each desk, we have the Romy. And you guys over on YouTube love Kylie Ray Seberg. Kylie Ray Seberg is one of our senior design directors and she is the mother to Romy. And um, when I saw this fixture like come to life and it came to time that we were gonna name it, I can't remember if Roger was already Earthside or not, probably not because she's only like 10 months old. Um, but I, it just screamed like youthfulness and she was the first Elko baby recently. And so I just feel like the fixture just absolutely is perfect for that name. So this is the Romy. Um, I should also know all of the sconces in the collection can be hardwired or used as wall lamps. I shouldn't say all, most of them, two of them can be hardwired or used as wall lamps. So in this application, we're using it as a wall lamp, but your electrician could easily clip this and then it comes with all of the parts that you can also hang it as a hardwired fixture so that it can be um, switch operated. So I think these are just beautiful. I love again, how playful and youthful and um, the wave as they're calling it or the scallop as we're calling it um, is super on trend right now. So if you're looking for that like quick trendy fixture that's just gonna bring a space to life, Romy is it. Okay, why am I standing in our teeny weeny eeny meeny little dirty kitchen? Well, because of the Priscilla. This wall lamp. You guys, a good wall lamp is like not easy to find. And when you've been doing this for as long as we have, I truly feel like we have used every wall lamp, picture light, period. So we made our own. And this one is way edgier and so much more gosh, I need a word that's like worthy of this. Like edgy, unique, right? Conversational than all of the other picture lights that I've personally seen. So it's gonna be hard for you to see from that angle, but we can show you here in B-roll. It's got this like prism triangle side that I love that. So when you're taking it in from the side, it gives so much more than like every other wall lamp or picture light, as I said. So it comes in two sizes. It's called the Priscilla, a 17 inch and a 24 inch. And the way that it just frames this micro art here, I just feel like is perfection. Um, new places I've been interested in using a picture light. A bathroom, so like over a bathroom vanity, I think could be beautiful. We already love them over um, shelving moments or bookcases. I also love them in a kitchen application, which I don't see very often. So we're gonna be using these probably as many places as our clients will let us put them. So you will definitely see, see more of these in our work, but I just think that the finish is stunning. It's such a high quality piece of equipment. Um, and, and again, it's far superior, in my opinion, to every other picture light I've seen lately. Okay, wait, I, I have to like lead up to this a little bit. Are you guys ready to see my office? Do you wanna shake the camera back there? Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. It is so incredible. And I'm gonna like moment for Nick, our amazing cameraman, videographer extraordinaire to put in what it used to look like, which was incredible. Like I loved my office and frankly, it was really hard and I had to like all my designer gusto to go through with this because we lime washed every square inch of it in this like incredible earthy chocolate brown <sighs> and it paid off so well. And let this be a demonstration. I was gonna make this much faster, but let this be a demonstration of following the process, allowing the design plan, which even professionals have to remind themselves of, all the way through. Because if I would have chickened out, which I was this close to doing, it wouldn't in any way be what it is today. And it is so good. My new creative oasis for you to see. Oh. Can you see it on my face? Like just being in this space, I am like, I can't wait for everything that's gonna go down in here, all of the cl creative collaboration, everything that we design, everything that comes out of our brand in this incredible space. So 
Um, in looking at the befores, you can probably tell that the floor plan now, the new furniture layout, is completely different than it was before. And I'll tell you, obviously in design, lots of what we do is aesthetic based, right? We wanna make sure that it looks great, but we also need to make sure that we're hitting that functionality card. And for us, we have a busy office. There's like 15 people who work here and most of them need to be able to come in here and collaborate with me. It's a closed private space. So by having the L-shaped desk that I had before, it just didn't allow for a ton of collaborative space. So we rearranged everything. I'm closer to the TV now so I can actually see because I don't know my vision's going guys, but, um, and now we have this beautiful table that we can sit out, we can spread plans out. With this new furniture floor plan, we can collaborate more. We're talking everything from product development to brand concepts, design schemes, photography direction, and everything in between. So it needs to be really multifaceted for all of the different areas of our business. So I'm obsessed with the layout. I mean, obviously the lime wash is incredible. We will make sure, oh, I should have told you this earlier. We will put as many sources as we can in the description of the video. So if you're wondering where's that from, what is that paint color, what is the floor in here? Oh my God, it's so good. It's called Zanzibar, it's from Urban Floor. We'll put everything we can in the description. Um, if for some reason we don't include it, there's probably a reason, but we'll always try to get back to you guys in the comments. So um, the color, I wanna say it's number 121 from JH Paints, but I, we'll verify and put it in the description. This, does this look like an earring or what? And I'll tell you when I put pen to paper and started thinking about designing a fixture that looks like an earring, it was like a wee bit scary because I'm thinking, do I really want a light fixture to look like an earring? But I do and I did and, and it's so good. And so this was modeled after kind of that ear crawler look, like I said, and it's, it's so vibey and edgy. And again, multi-directional lighting. It can be used in a bathroom. It can be used in this application exactly, which totally dresses up this entire wall. It's art, right? Which I love. I love using lighting as art. So I feel like this really does just make this wall feel exactly like it should for this space. And then moving throughout the space also, if you look up, this is the Dana chandelier. This one's named after my mom. So her name is Dana, it's Anna with a D. Um, and she's a super unique name. And of course I wanted to include my mom in the list of very strong, amazing women who have inspired me and continue to do so. So this is the uh, six light chandelier. This is another big one. So with the Harper Rose I showed you up front in our design studio, and then this one, these are both really statement making chandeliers. This one comes in um, a darker finish like that one does also. And then over here, this little vibey corner. I like to think I would sit down and like read a book, but I'll probably be returning emails or something else. Um, but this floor lamp, incredible. I'll tell you about this weave. I really wanted something in a gray wash. You probably see rattan, wicker, wovens all over everything, right? But you don't normally see them in a gray tone. I wanted something gray, but not cool toned and mixed with a brass base. And so this is what came to be. And again, I love the shape, kind of this funnel shape. It's large and in charge, like me for, me for scale. Right, look how tall she is. I even have heels on. So she can command a room, she can take a corner, she can be used in multiples. Um, I would love to see her in a super high ceiling like on top of a sideboard or a buffet in a dining space. I love that. I'm so, so, so pleased with how she turned out. My office bath got a fresh new look with an added playful mirror and the Destiny sconces. When these sconces are on, they provide the most filtered and beautiful ambient light. These are perfect for a powder room application or any place you want your lighting to serve as art. There's so much in our design studio that I didn't get to show you today, but if you'd like to see what this space looked like when we first bought it three years ago, there's a ton of coverage on our YouTube channel. You can just search, I think it's Elko HQ, like I said. But working with Mitzi has been an absolute dream. To the Mitzi team, thank you so much. Being a designer, especially a self-taught designer, in my opinion, and getting to design a lighting collaboration with such talented people. All of the people from marketing to lighting designers and engineers over on the Mitzi side has truly been so seamless and such an absolute dream come true. So now that I have them in my hands and I've been able to use them in our studio, I'm even more confident that you will love them when you get your hands on them also. You'll be able to shop them currently shipping on our website at thelifestyleco.com, of course at mitzi.com. Um, talk to us in the comments. We love to, to hear from you guys and talk back and I will catch you on the next one.